I can't let you do this. Nobody has ever made it all the way down Suicide Hill. It's too big. Look! That's why I have to do it. And the conditions are perfect. The Santa Banana winds are blowing up the hill, which will slow me down. <clears throat> Plus, I told every kid in school. Well, is he coming? Not yet. Watch Johnny conquer a parish on Suicide Hill while enjoying a delicious churro. So, uh, what do you want me to bring you in the hospital? I think he's gonna do it. We need you to test something. Not now, I'm about to make history. Yes, now. See? Uh, is that one of my coupons? Given to us by you for making an awesome Halloween costume, remember? Trick or give us all your candy or we'll suck out your brains. <laughs> good costume, but I can't leave now. But it says good anytime, anywhere. What's going on now? Okay, he's getting at a hovercraft. He's taking off. He's chickening out. <laughs> Hurry up, what am I testing? A cure for some horrible disease? Close. It's lemonade. We're trying to perfect it. It can be so sour sometimes. So we want you to test them and tell us which one you like best. You ruined three months of downhill preparation to test lemonade! Hey, you gave us the coupon. B. B is best. Now I'm out of here! He's at the top of the hill again! He better do it this time. Now it's time to go where no kid has ever gone before. Oh, what now? We want to redeem another coupon. Good anytime, anywhere. Darn it! Gimme, 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 gimme. It's a new weight loss supplement that will make excess body fat blow away like the wind. Nothing. I'm out of here! Just wait a minute. I don't have a minute. My fans and my date with destiny are waiting. <laughs> awesome. The wind conditions are still perfect. Wait, I feel funny. Oh, like you've come to your senses and won't do this ridiculous stunt? No, it's not that. <laughs> I don't think he's coming down for a while. Yeah! Johnny got skinny, then blew away, and you have to save him! Well, we only gave him a micro dose. So, projecting Johnny's reduced weight and the northeasterly swirling winds, and estimated time of return to normal boy mass, Johnny should be landing right about. to carry the five. No more coupons! Here. What's this? A double coupon, which doubles the value of all the other coupons I gave you as long as you don't bother me for the next two hours so I can make history. Johnny, you know a rundown suicide hill on a skateboard only has a 7% chance of success. With the more likely result being a top speed of 53 miles per hour followed by speed wobbles causing a catastrophic wipeout which, even fully padded, will land you in a hospital for at least three nights. Do you want the coupon or not? Yeah, I, I want, want the, the coupon. coupon. Yes! Finally, I will conquer Suicide Hill! You are a fraud, Test. You know that? It's raining! The rain will be with us for the next two days, but then the Santa Banana winds return to dry things up and make conditions perfect for a dangerous run down a steep hill. Awesome! All I have to do is chillax for two days and... We need to run some more tests. Fine. How many tests do I owe you? Six? Eight? I can do that in two days. With the double coupon added to our old coupons, you owe us 132 tests. <laughs> oh, this might get ugly. Forgot to factor in wind current. You didn't factor.
tractor in Yard Slope. Right. But we did set the Slippy Slide land speed record. Y equals velocity, not trajectory. Right. I can do this. I can take care of my double coupons, and I will race down Suicide Hill. Gonna steal the coupons back? Then shred them so the girls don't have any coupons to redeem. It's dishonest. Giving them a coupon, Johnny, is like giving them your word. I'm dishonest? I'll tell you what's dishonest. Smashing my face into stuff all day for science! Plus, every kid in town is waiting for me to pull off the biggest downhill skateboard run in history! The kind of run that inspires future generations and pushes the boundaries of what is possible by proving that nothing is impossible. Okay, good speech. I'll get our black spy suits. <laughs> Well, that was easy. Huh? Thanks, Johnny. We've been meaning to keep these in a safer place. They gotta be hiding them in their room. But not for long. Hmm? Looking for these, little brother? Yep. <laughs> us too. And I think we'll just keep them with us at all times. Darn it! Dad's new vacuum cleaner, expertly taped to Mom's shredder. I'm gonna suck the coupons out of their hands and shred them. Then I'm gonna shred Suicide Hill. It's genius! Coupons be gone! Awesome! Who's the genius now? It's me. Oh, yeah. It's Johnny. Uh-huh. Johnny! You just shredded my grocery coupons that were worth $120! Yeah, I bet you're mad about me taping your new vacuum to Mom's shredder, too, huh? To your room! Now! Hey, we'd like to redeem another coupon, please. You are evil! Hey, you made the coupons, not us. Well, you don't have to use all of them, you know. Well, you don't have to come to the lab anymore. Why does there have to be coupons in the first place? Because he gave them to us for doing stuff for him. Why can't you just do your brother a favor for once in your life? Yeah, you tell him, Dookie. And you don't have to bug your sisters for everything you know. What was this coupon for? We did his science fair project. And why can't you do that for yourself? Because I'm lazy and I hate science? Yes, but you're also a part of this family. And what do families do? They help each other. And that doesn't mean you always have to get something in return. But know this, when you do something nice for your family, it might not happen right away, but nice things will happen back. Welp, the mud is right again. Let's call it even, little brother. Yes! And the Santa Banana winds are blowing in. Time to make that run. Hey, everybody! Johnny's gonna make the run again! And I won't ask for any help. Well, let us give you some free advice, Johnny. Because again, even with the strong headwinds, you'll wipe out and spend three days in the hospital. Yeah, well, your calculations have been wrong all week. So once again, I don't need your help. I'm not going with you, Johnny. I will not help you break your neck. Blah, 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 blah. Gerona Fargo! He's doing it! He's really coming down the hill this time! Yeah! Ah! And now he's naked. Yeah, now he's losing control. Ah! Hey, what is family for, right? We also brought you some pants. You guys are the best sisters a brother could have. We know. This is like the best ending we've ever had. 
Jones. I'm gonna cry! Since when are video games supposed to make the sweat? Since video game dancing rocks! Player two wins! Rank! Disco King! Who wants to be Disco King anyway? There will be no displays of poor sportsmanship in front of thy king. Player one loses! Rank Sweaty Caveman! <laughs> oh, don't cry, Johnny. It's just a game that I won and you lost. <laughs> it's not me. I think it's coming from outside. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh, uh, hello, Johnny. Dookie? What are you doing here? Uh, we live here. Right you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to mourning the loss of friendship everlasting. <laughs> what? What's the matter? Did something happen to Mr. White? Was it a secret spy conspiracy? Oh, was he vaporized during a mission? Wait, I bet it was evil aliens. It was, it was my dancing. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is not going to be good. Uh, you want some sappy flashback music? Please. It all started when we decided to try out for Super Secret Agent Idol. Mr. White and I planned a dance routine that would surely win this year's Secret Agent Idol. First prize is a trip to Fiji. No time for nerves, Mr. Black. Just let out the dance and soar. But we didn't really rehearse or anything, right? You're as good a dancer as you say you are. That trip to Fiji is as good as ours. We are going to Fiji. We are going to Fiji. Ah, you're wasting your time, boys. I'm going to win this competition just like I do every year. Now behold my chip de soleil. I hate those monkeys. The glorious stage was set. The president himself judges who gets in the finals. Then I remembered one important thing. First up, we have Mr. Black and Mr. White with their dance routine, Shades of Grey. I can't dance. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. White was furious. He told me I dance worse than a dead yak and that he never wants to see me again. <laughs> we got to help him out. I can't go back. And you're the only people I know outside of the agency. I'm not sure how I feel about a fully grown secret agent sleeping on our couch. I, I understand. But before I go, can I have more delicious meatloaf? Take the couch as long as you like, Mr. Black, and I'll get you more meatloaf right away. You won't even know I'm here. But a bum ba da 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 I'm home! Goodbye, school! Hello, video games and cartoons, and... Whoa. He's been here all day. It's bad. Yeah, well, I've been at school all day, and Johnny need cartoons. No can do, buckaroo. I deleted them to make space on the DVR for my Young and the Walrus marathon. So, uh... There's so much I want to tell you, but my heart won't let me. <laughs> oh, they're so happy. ba da bum ba da 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 Okay, well, I'll be upstairs playing video games with Dookie. Great. Uh, by the way, I've tossed them out and filled your room with books. Ah! They're better for you. <laughs> Hold that thought. Okay, go. <laughs> you like it? I'm really enjoying our time together, Johnny. I told you, it's like I'm not even here. It's snack time, and Johnny goes for his secret stash of Red Gush and Super Sugar Bars. <laughs> This stuff will rot your teeth. Oh. A youngin' like you needs carrots and pomegranate juice. It's good for the digestion. Ah! I'm in the shower. Ah! Yeah. Estet occupado. <laughs> Manners, Johnny, that's very rude. Losing my mind. Need loud rock music to calm my nerves. Classical, opera. Air supply! Rock and roll can damage your ears, Johnny, but not the classics. But a bum ba da 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 Yellow. Mr. Black is driving me crazy! I need you to come get him. Now! We are friends no longer, Johnny. He dances like a sweaty caveman. And worse, he lied to me! 
He lied to his own partner. Come on, there's got to be a way you'll take him back. And get him out of my house! Sure. Just have him be an amazing dancer so we can take back his lies and maybe it's Secret Agent Idol tonight. But that will never happen because he's a sweaty caveman loser liar! We need to turn him into an amazing dancer in one hour? To the lab! I feel so alive! Yes, he's an amazing dancer! How'd you do that? With our special wireless Mimictronic Disco Dance Pants. Mr. Black will accurately recreate every move from Dookie the Disco Dance King. Woo! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Go, Dookie. Hey! All Super Dancing Dookie has to do is dance behind the stage area at the talent tryouts, and Mr. Black will be able to wow the crowd. Then Mr. White will take him back and get him out of my hair forever. I mean, win that fabulous trip to Fiji. Remember to dance like a disco king, Dookie. I can't look silly in front of Mr. White and the president. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, sorry, I had an itch. <laughs> Woo! Thanks, everyone. I'm gonna miss you, guys. I guess I should pack my... Way ahead of you, sure gonna miss you. Let's go. And hurry before we miss Mr. White and Super Secret Agent Idol. There's Mr. White. Now go. Go and dance like the wind. Here goes nothing. And now to perform his disco dance explosion is Mr. White. And Mr. Black. Whoa, stand back, everybody. Don't want any more explosions or lies. I did not lie. I said I could dance, and I'm here to prove it. Ha! Whoa. Well, that's not bad. Now, partner, let's win that trip to Fiji. Let's do this. Focus, dog. They love us! And so does the president and... Please don't be what I think it is. Please don't be what I think it is. Hey, what do you think of... Oh, no, I can't watch. Hey, you come back here! Mimatronic disco dance pants? Why do you keep lying to me? I knew how much winning that Fiji trip meant to you, but I just don't have any talent for the show. I don't care about Fiji. I mean, I really care about Fiji, but I care about our friendship and partnership even more. Aw, oh, that is really sweet. Now shake hands and be friends again, please! So, friends? Friends. That's nice, boys, but I'm afraid I have to ban Mr. Black from dancing on account of he's too dangerous. Well, I guess we're out, because I have no other talent. But a bum ba da 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 Hey, that was pretty good. Actually, it was downright awesome. But a bum ba da 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 You really think so? And you know what? I think you might have a talent for the show after all. And some backup dancers. Agent Black and Agent White are your new super secret government agent idols, and they win the trip to Fiji. Thank you. Thank you, agents. I had this written just in case. And thank you, Johnny, and sisters, and talking dog. Bye, Johnny. See you when we get back. You don't have to. I'm totally serious. Fiji. Here we come! We are going to be Jacob! We are going to be Jacob! I had a really fun night! Me too! But I'm super glad my super secret agent, Rumi, is gone! Hi, Johnny! You're gonna be on the couch tonight! Cause we've got a house guest that will be using your room for a while! Uh, this is not gonna be good. 
Johnny! <laughs> yeah, Chip de Soleil doesn't seem to be impressing the judges anymore. They want dancing now, and you're gonna teach us your expert dancing ways. Dance for Johnny, monkeys. Don't worry, you won't even know we're here. Yep, that figures. No, I can't go in. It's too horrible. What is so horrible? Reading. I can't believe Teacher Man's forcing us to go to the library and check out books. Johnny, the library does not hurt. You were saying? That books are filled with knowledge, and knowledge is power. No, having x-ray vision is power. Can a book give me x-ray vision? No, but reading books makes you smart, and if you're smart, you get a good job, and a good job means lots of money, which means you get rich, which means you're set for life, and that is power, my friend. You lost me at reading books, and there's only one thing I need to be set for life, and it's not in the library. Well, where is it? <laughs> Johnny, we haven't got all day. Don't rush me. <laughs> All I need is the yellow limited edition Speed McCool Action Racer and my life will be complete. That's what you need to be set for life? You have dozens of those. Dozens of red, blue, and green ones. I still don't have a yellow. And I need to collect all four. So you don't mind reading the back of cereal boxes. It's just boring old library books I can't stand. Johnny! I only got one shot at this, Dad. Why don't you just put on your x-ray glasses so you can see through the box and, oh yeah, there's no such thing. So pick a box already! <laughs> Now go ahead, open the box. <gasps> no! I need you to make me a pair of x-ray glasses. Hmm. Think of the good it could do for humankind. A tool that lets doctors look inside the body to diagnose diseases. That helps firefighters see hidden dangers. And helps frustrated boys look inside cereal boxes. We have considered it in the past, but the technology requires going into your brain and attaching microsensors to your optic nerve, which could go horribly wrong. How wrong? Either you'll be able to see through walls, it will damage your eyes so that you'll need reading glasses, or your head will explode. And that's bad, right? Very bad! And you should be at the library getting books, which will help you be set for life! Mm. Huh. Let's go X-ray glasses, baby! Now hold still. This won't hurt a bit. It's gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> yes! I've got X-ray vision! <laughs> wow, Johnny. I've never seen you reading so intently. X-ray glasses, I love you. Johnny, have you checked out those books I assigned from the library? Um, I hate the library. Hate the library? Johnny, knowledge is power. Blah, blah, blah. I think I've discovered a way better power. Impossible. The knowledge we gain from books is what makes us human. Without it, we'd be nothing but mole people stumbling in the dark. I'm back. And ready to steal the source of the Earth Dweller's power! Books! Since knowledge is power, we're going to steal all of the books in Pork Belly, and then the world! <laughs> the humans will become stupid, and we'll grow so smart and powerful that we'll take over! But, boss, what if Johnny gets in the way? I have a plan where we won't even have to go above ground. <laughs> We're going to be geniuses! Mm -hmm. Don't eat the book, you idiot! I don't believe what I'm seeing. That lady had a 200 gigabyte Z-Box 360 in her shopping bag. It was a thing of beauty. Okay, so now that you've had fun with your glasses, isn't it time we go back to the library? No. Now that I have x-ray vision, I've decided I really am set for life. All right. Let me try this again, because I love you. Read books, get good job, money, set for life! Can x-ray vision do that? Huh? Answer me! Quick, how much money do I need to be set for life? Let's see. 
If you were to invest wisely, marry only once, live in a good school district, and have 2.3 children... 2.3 children sounds cool. You'll need about $843,000. Right. And how does he get that? Well, you can read books, study hard, get a good job, and earn it. Yeah. How else? You could win it on a game show. Okay, Johnny, it's time to play... The $843,000 Showcase! It was a dumb question, I know. We've placed 50 sinkhole bombs under the Pork Belly Library. <laughs> when they detonate, the books will be sucked underground and fall into our soon-to-be powerful hands. In five minutes, the books will be ours! And now to fire off a letter of warning to the authorities. You're, you're gonna tell them what we're doing? I want to make the humans stupid, but I don't want to hurt anyone! We're mole people, not monsters. Susan, Mary, we need your help. Zizra the Mole King, or King of the Mole People, or whatever, is going to steal the library. You don't happen to have anything that could help us locate subterranean bombs, do you? Don't you already have bomb detecting equipment? Yeah. Bomb detector fight! <laughs> We're, uh... Idiots, you know. But help us out. We could lose our jobs. Well, we do have something. But Johnny's the only one who can use it. Well, where is he? Okay, Johnny. One of these suitcases contains $843,000. One contains 39 cents. And the other contains a rabid mongoose. Now take your time, Johnny. Think real hard and pick the $843,000 suitcase. Number three, final answer, not gonna phone a friend or dog or nothing, number three. Let's open number three. Right after these commercials. Johnny, we need you to help us save books. Kinda in the middle of something? Sisra is planning to steal the Pork Belly Library. The whole library! And the problem is? The problem is, all of Pork Belly's books will disappear forever and without Books? We don't have any record of human history, of, of art, of literature. No chronicle of the human endeavor. Yeah, I really hate reading, so it's gonna have to wait until I'm done cheating. I mean, playing. There's no time. The bombs are set to go off in one minute. Dude, what's with all the disguises today? Not important. But what is important is helping humanity preserve the most important thing we need to survive after steak and clothing. And that is books! And we're back in three, two... Welcome back, Johnny Test. Pick suitcase number three and... He left. Which means he's disqualified, right? <laughs> ah! The Mongoose has been talking my way! I'm very proud of you. Don't talk to me. In mere seconds, the books will be ours! Ooh, I can already feel all that powerful knowledge filling my brain! <laughs> it's tingling! Mm -hmm. no, seriously, it's really tingling. Go, go, go! There's one there! With only three seconds left. Wait, there's only... Got the kids. Two pills. 49 bombs here. Well, where's the other one? Ah! Where are the books? What's happened to all my books? Ah! Ow, that really hurts! Ah! No! <laughs> oh, will you lighten up? You lighten up? I was going to be a genius! Knowledge is power! Knowledge is power! Oh, if I get you some books, will you calm down? <laughs> I don't have a library card. You can come with me and use mine, because I have a lot of books I need to check out. Can you get us some cool glasses that will cut down on the glare? <laughs> you know, it's very bright up there. 
This library is amazing! I got a Harry Warlock book, 345 ways to prepare dirt, and this book on world domination! And I got my books for my project. You're putting your x-ray glasses back on? No, these are reading glasses. The x-ray glasses messed up my vision. He'll be fine in about a month. Knowledge is power, you know. I know, I know! <laughs> Johnny, you're just in time to try my new meatloaf balls. It's meatloaf in ball form. <laughs> they make better spitballs. That was very rude, mister. But fun. Load up, Dookie. <laughs> and fire! <laughs> Johnny, have you lost your mind? Oopsie, my phone is broken and now I'll have to drive to the phone store in my new car, which I just love. <laughs> Johnny! Have you lost your mind? <laughs> it's a monkey party and trash your love dance fest jam! Johnny! Have you lost your mind? <laughs> is something wrong? <laughs> this is for destroying my new car! And blowing up our lab! And shooting meatloaf balls at me! What are you talking about? I've been in the treehouse all day listening to music dangerously loud. Oh, great. Now my son is a liar. That's it, mister. You are staying in that homemade jail until you confess what you did was wrong. I am so confused right now. Maybe we develop multiple personalities and are trashing things without remembering. Or our future selves came back to warn us about something, but became infected with a time virus and became evil Johnny and Dookie. That's it! But how are we going to stop them, or whoever they are, when we're trapped in the joint? <laughs> I need air. I want to see the sun! Relax. Dad made the jail, remember? <sighs> hey, how did you get down there so fast? I'm right behind you. Huh? It's our future evil selves! Oh, oh, wait, maybe they're clones! Stop right there, evil clones, and leave that treehouse alone! <laughs> we gotta stop them before they ruin our lives! Quick, to the Johnny Pole! <laughs> We've gotta make some tweaks to the Johnny Pole. <laughs> You lost your minds? Yes. I finally stole enough lunch money to buy this violent video game that I'm sure will influence me. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy you, Johnny Test! We or whoever they are came through this way. Oh, I got a bad feeling, Johnny. There's that kid and his dog! He didn't wait for the want sign! He stole my video game! And stole candy from my babies! And how cool is it that the Pitchfork and Torch store were having a sale today? It wasn't us! It was actually clone lookalikes, or it was us from the future, but then a time virus and something went wrong and ah, oh, forget it! Run, dog! Yeah! Not gonna look good. Dad, I can explain. It's clones. Clones? Until you admit you did those awful things, you are not getting out of my new homemade jail, which I've improved with steel. We're trapped! And out there, Mystery Johnny and Dookie are destroying the town, and worse, destroying our good names! Relax, remember, it was Dad who improved the jail. Now, let's stop those clones! But we'll need disguises so nobody thinks we are us! To the Johnny Pole! No, 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 that's the pretty poles, remember? Right. <laughs> this might work. <laughs> now nobody will chase us because we look nothing like us. Who we have to find. Oh! A blood-sucking vampire! And a clown! I hate clowns worse than vampires! Get them! 
We've got to spend more time on the whole Johnny Pole thing. Run! <laughs> Everyone loves matadors and cheerleaders, I think. Now, if I was an imposter of myself, where would I be right now? Let's check over there. Clones, or our future evil selves, we mean you no harm. But I am in a lot of trouble because of you dorks and... <laughs> Cyborgs. I think they might be cyborgs of ourselves. Run! <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm definitely thinking cyborgs. But who would make such a thing? Johnny, this is gonna sound weird, but you haven't seen two cyborg versions of you and Dookie, have you? You made them? Do you realize what you've done to me? And Answer the question! There's no time! Um, they're right there. <laughs> hey, guys, it's good to see you, and... Hang on if you want to live! <laughs> Sorry, Johnny, but we needed a new suburban weapon. Something unsuspecting, but capable of mass destruction. And so we thought of you. Oh, yeah, I can see that. But if the cyborgs are yours, why are they destroying Pork Belly and not some bad enemy dudes? Because they became the bad dudes. Their artificial intelligence program became corrupted. And then they became corrupt. Then they broke out of jail and are on the loose! Look! It's pandemonium in Pork Belly! As an evil flaming-headed kid and his dog of terror are destroying our great city! Okay, it's not that great of a city, but somebody please help! It's the only city we've got! <laughs> There's nothing we can do to stop them. The world as we know it will soon be ending. What? There's nothing we can do? Oh, okay, there might be something. I, I just can't think of anything. Well, I can. Time to fight fire with fire. Or in this case, fight Johnny with Johnny. Load us up with everything you got and we'll take care of the rest. Right, quick, to the battle poles! <laughs> We might need to lighten the load. We can do that. I just have to say, I don't remember agreeing to this. There you are, jailbreaker. Now you have to stop this destructive rampage and lying about clones. Dad, you're right. It's not clones. The military made cyborgs of me and Dookie, but they went AWOL and are out of control. Cyborgs? That is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. <laughs> Johnny's, Johnny's telling, telling the, the truth, truth Mr. Detest. Now get out of there! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I believe you, son. <laughs> it's time, time to end, end this. We couldn't agree more. I'm starting to think this is a really bad idea. And who lets an 11 year old take on military cyborgs? Hey, it, it was, was your, your idea. idea. <laughs> Oh, man, what a cheap suit. <laughs> okay, think dog. He's a dog, too. Here, boy, fetch the stick. Fetch! Good boy! Fetch the Wisby! That's a good boy! Now get the nice grenade! Get it! Man, I am good! Ooh, this could come in handy. <laughs> Playtime is over, Johnny. Stop right there! Dookie, you're back! Quick, blast him! Blast him! Da, da. What? Blast me? Blast him! He's a cyborg, not me! Da, da, da. I'm not the clone! I love you, fuzzy buddy! It's me, Johnny! Wow! We really make life like clones! High five! I can't tell the difference. Okay, then we'll take a little quiz. What's my favorite steak? Porterhouse. Correct. 
When is my birthday? Nobody really knows because you were found in the pound. Correct, again. Okay, what's nine times three? 27. Wrong answer. Wait, that was the right answer. Yeah, but Johnny always goes to the hands thing to get the answer. Uh, 27, am I right? Huh? Yes, you are, Johnny. And it's time to celebrate another military victory, sort of. Now, which one of these burning buildings is the taco hut? I'm back, and I'll save you, Johnny! Way too late, Dad. But we're off to get victory tacos. Ooh, tacos, I'm in. Uh, I know. What did you do? Don't you want the flowers first? What? Did. You. Do! We tried to make Lolo a super monkey. It went horribly wrong. So how do you fix it? Easy. This looks like a job for Johnny X and Super Pooch! I knew you were gonna say that. Just save Lolo and get right back here. Wait. I think we're gonna need some cool new super mutant powers for this mission. Fine. That giant monkey is destroying our town! Can anybody save us? I hate my super suit! Gives me a wedgie! Hey, Lolo, we have to... <laughs> Looks like it's time for Johnny X to use his new mutant powers! Spaghetti head? It came to me in a dream. Now use your new shrinking powers! Get out! I have shrinking powers? It shoots out of your eyes. <laughs> that freaky boy and his mutt dog in those bad costumes saved our town! I own the candy store. Take this candy as my sign of gratitude. And I'm the mayor, and I say we should give them a parade! <laughs> Superhero! I don't think I've ever taken this costume off. This town needs me. Careful, Johnny. The life of a superhero is a big responsibility. Yes, they have superpowers, but they also lead lives of quiet desperation and loneliness. No, Johnny X leads a life of free candy and parades. No, oh, Super Pooch is out of candy. <laughs> Quick, Super Pooch! My sisters are buzzkills, and somebody needs our help! Johnny X and Super Pooch, away! Help, Johnny X! My brakes are out! Hang on! We'll save you! Hot Snub Powers, go! <laughs> okay, that mutant power is just plain gross. Who cares? Thank you, Johnny X. Here's candy. Help! Lord, somebody help! Can we give you a lift? And can I give you some candy? Dude, these are raisins. Raisins are nature's candy. Nah, we gotta save him. I don't want to know. For saving our town once again, I declare this Johnny X and Super Pooch Day! If there's danger or trouble about, Johnny X and Super Pooch will be there for the good citizens of Port Billy 24-7. Great! Now that's why I give you the X Alert! Watch, so we can call you any time we're in trouble. Now, let's throw candy! You realize that is bad, right? No, everyone loves having powers, like transport powers! And after taking a little nap, because I'm tired, I will use all of my superpowers to protect the innocent against the forces of evil! Okay. I'll go to bed later. Help! The bridge is out! You gotta love super strength. Now that we saved the town again, let's play video games. 
<laughs> what do we do? Is there something that shoots out of my butt? Atomic eyeball, turbo toes, exploding earwax, ooh, super breath. <gasps> Yo, thanks, Johnny X and Super Pooch! Now let's play some video ga- <laughs> We gotta stop these trains from crashing! I'm totally pooped. Huh. Speaking of pooped... of evil! Oh, actually, it's not the forces of evil. I just can't get this peanut butter jar open. <laughs> so tired. I haven't slept in three days. <laughs> no! You were right. I need to sleep and to play and to go to the bathroom. One, two, three. We told you so! Okay, now tell us what to do. It's easy. Johnny X and Super Pooch need to be destroyed. What? The town won't become self-sufficient again until they know Johnny X and Super Pooch are destroyed. Yeah, but there's one problem. Where are Johnny X and Super Pooch? You don't really have to be destroyed. The town just needs to think you dorks are destroyed. Oh. That's it! Johnny X, seriously, what's with the train system in this town? Who cares? Just get ready to get very, very destroyed. Ah! Oh, no! The, the train has crushed Johnny X and Super Pooch. I don't think we're going to make it. Be strong, because together you can all do this stuff yourselves. Like... Fix the train system. <laughs> Wait, I'm a doctor. I can save them. But I'll have to do surgery here. We're good. We're all better now. Call us on the X Alert Watch if you need us. Hey, you wanted to be a superhero. Well, how do you not help people who need help? Especially if you have things like lava boogers and stuff. People need to help themselves, Johnny. Blah, blah, blah. You're cold. And help a brother out! Fine. What do you want us to do? Up in the sky! It's two meteors! No, it's two nuclear bombs! No, it is I, City Storm and Filiana! And we come from the planet, uh, Evil Planet! People must all be evil there! They are! And we are here to destroy your world! I can't believe we let him talk us into this. Oh, help us, Johnny X and Super Pooch! Evil villains, go back to where you came from! Or it will be a battle to the finish! And it will be you who will be finished! <laughs> <laughs> That really hurt! Quick, Johnny! Use your, uh, butt cage thing! That will stop them! This is really painful, you know. Yeah, but it's kind of fun. Just have your teleporting powers ready and prepare to die! Johnny X and Super Pooch are destroyed. And now it's bathroom, then video game time. Don't hurt us. Uh, we surrender fully and we'll do whatever you say. Good. Then we want you to handle all emergencies by yourself. Don't do stupid stuff like hiking up huge cliffs. Got it. And for goodness sake, get the train system fixed. Or we will return to this planet and destroy all of you. Yeah, okay. I have to say, it's good to be playing old Johnny again. Let me 
me just reiterate one more time. We told you so! This is Hank Anchorman with a special report. A runaway train is heading for a burning downtown building full of puppies while it's being robbed! What? Uh, we gotta help. They have to help themselves. And Johnny X is destroyed! <laughs> The train was stopped in time! The puppies are saved! And the bank robbers are caught! And it's all thanks to them! Who are you? Oh, um, we're the Mega Mutant Fearsome Force 4! Oh, hey, hey, can we call you when we're in trouble? Just don't go nuts, pal, okay? Right, got it! And I'd love a super suit that doesn't give me a wedgie. <laughs> Power <and> alert! <gasps> oh, hey, sport. What's up? Just reading, Dad. By myself. All alone. Just reading. Well, that's great. Put it in there, old boy. That's the pepper. <gasps> Power and alert! I'm on. Um, just having a catch with myself. No one else but me. Oh, <laughs> that's nice, dear. <laughs> Fine, I lost the bet, but it's not that funny. It's not that funny! What's all the noise? Nothing, just talking to myself. Alone. Talking. Oh. Okay. Have you ever noticed that Johnny doesn't have any friends? What? Johnny has friends. But well, there's that kid. No. Uh, what about the, uh, oh, and the red-headed kid. Mm. Our son is an anti-social freak! It's Saturday! What's the plan? We start the day with the cartoon marathon, then snacks, then skateboarding, then more snacks. Huh? Johnny, this is Wendell from down the street. We thought the two of you could have a nice play date today. Uh... I brought my bug collection. Did you know that the African stick bug has over 29 eyes? And your bite causes temporary paralysis? <laughs> <laughs> He'll be fine in about two hours. Okay, the bug bite made us miss the cartoons. But we still have time to shred, my man. Let's do it, my butt-scratching best friend. Johnny! Your dad and I were talking to Tyler's parents earlier. And they mentioned that Tyler doesn't have any friends either. So we thought, let's get these two boys together and fast. Uh, Dude, that's gross, even for me. No, it's good. You should try. Ah! <laughs> He'll be fine. In about two hours. Well, at least we still have video game time. <laughs> hmm? Why is Sissy here? Well, we know that you two have played in the past, but haven't in a while, so... The only reason he avoids me is because he's in love with me. I'm in love with you? Who smells me on the bus? How many of my socks have you stolen? Oh. Oh. He'll be fine in about two hours. <laughs> Johnny, you know Bumper, right? Oh! Just pick your test! Oh, look, they're playing tag. Ah! You're doomed! Doomed test! It's good for Johnny to have friends. What happened to him? Your parents think he has no friends and keep trying to fix him up with playdates. Sorry, but we can't be bothered, because we're making an artificial intelligent bot for our AI class. Meet Luke. Hi, I'm Luke. Wanna play? Yes, he's perfect. Just let Luke be my best friend for an hour, then I can go back to hanging with Dookie. Please, I'm your brother! One hour, and no extreme sports. I love you guys, and I love Luke. Hi, I'm Johnny's friend Luke. Oh, what a nice looking boy. Yeah, we're gonna skateboard now, and oh man, are we like the best friends ever. Yes, Johnny's normal. I'm gonna relax with some tea. And I'll join you. Well, that worked great. Okay, Luke, back to the lab you go. Luke wants to skateboard. No, no way. Johnny, your sisters will destroy you if anything happens to him. Not to let him skateboard. What do 
we going to tell the girls? Easy, that Luke must have short-circuited and ran away, and we couldn't catch him. It's good, but what are we gonna do with Luke? It's so nice to know we have a normal boy and not a social freak. <gasps> Oh, look. Johnny and Luke must be playing buried treasure or something. <laughs> ah! uh, it's all our fault. It must be our fault somehow. Heck yeah, it's your fault. I was fine until you kept trying to fix me up with friends. Jonathan Test. <laughs> How could you be so cold and very, very a robot? <laughs> A robot the girls loan me so you'd think I'd have a friend and leave me alone. Oh, I wish you had said that before. Before what? Yep, it's a robot. Johnny is free to go. Well, if it isn't the robot breaker. We are really mad, Johnny. And you still need friends, Johnny. You don't want to be an antisocial outcast your whole life. I mean, Susan and Mary are social outcasts, but at least they have each other. Hey! I'm calling Wendell, Tyler, Sissy, and Bumper's moms again. You need a best friend, mister. I have a best friend, okay? A best friend who plays catch with me outside, skateboards with me, and eats my table scraps. Dookie! Dookie is a great dog, son, but you need to talk to someone other than yourself. Say hi. Go on. Say it. Say it before they destroy me with friends! Johnny, dogs don't talk. I talk. <gasps> yeah, I'm kind of a really great dog. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they'll be fine in about two hours. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to say, Dookie? Well, I've been dying to say that if you really want to increase sales, you need to establish better relationships with your clients. That makes sense. And, Dad, your meatloaf is overcooked. Lower the temperature to 415, cook with foil on top for the last 10 minutes, and it's missing cumin and barbecue sauce. He's right. By golly, he's right! Let's cook a meatloaf right now, boy! Dookie, wait! I want more business tips. Okay, I think this is going well. <laughs> it's Sunday! We still have a weekend day left, so what's the plan, my fuzzy buddy? Well, this morning I'm helping Dad prep the meals for the week. Then I have to pack, because your mom wants me to go with her to Seattle tonight for a three-day conference. What? I have a best friend, but they think I don't. And they find friends for me who practically destroy me, and then they take my real best friend away? Yeah, but I'm really excited about the Seattle trip. Come on, boy. Let's pick up some ground turkey and make a turkey meatloaf tonight. Don't forget the cumin. I still can't get over that you talk. I love it. I love it! Ah! I need you to help me get Dookie back. Mom and Dad stole him. Sure we'll help you, Johnny. All you have to do is get Mom and Dad into these memory erasers. Oh, wait. We can't help you because we're busy rebuilding Luke. Well, who am I supposed to play with? Hey, I know. I bet our lab security bots can play with you. But I don't want to play with them. Too bad. Keep Johnny out of the lab. <laughs> Maybe I do need some friends. So you want us to play what? Super secret spy mission, and I need all your help. Why am I helping you? I should be beating you up. Because I need someone who can scare people. And Bumper, you are amazing at scaring people. You, you, you think I'm amazing? Nobody's ever said that to me. I am so there for you, buddy. Here's the plan. Step one, Bumper, get my sisters out of the lab. I'm crazy, and I have a chainsaw! Hey, that was really fun! Agent Tyler, you scare Dad back up to the lab. Hey, Mr. Test. You should add some of my boogers to your meatloaf. Oh, Tyler, wow. Get it away from me. Get it away from me, Tyler! Ah! <laughs> Agent Wendell and Agent Sissy, you're next. Hi, Mrs. Test. Check out the Montana Banana Slug Bug. 
Its bite can make your vision blurry. No, 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 Wendell. That's nice, but... Ow! Mom, that is a poisonous bug. I need to get you to the lab to give you an antidote. You look different than my Susan. You're starting to hallucinate. Quick, to the empty bug bite chamber! Make the bug bite go away! And make the boogers go away! No, make your memory go away. What's going on? I'm just playing with my friends, which you can see I have lots of. Oh, that's nice, dear. I'll make some lemonade and cookies for all of you. And are you gonna play too, boy? Ah, woof woof! Oh, if only you could talk. What do we do now, Test? Well, what do friends do? Uh, I think they play tag. Play tag. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!